Quarter 4, Module 1, Lesson 1. How Earthquakes Occur. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! The crust of the Earth is always moving. The sudden movement of the Earth's crust can cause masses of rocks to change its position and release a big amount of energy that can cause earthquakes. Earthquakes can bring changes to the surface of the Earth. After going through this lesson, you are expected to explain how earthquakes occur. Have you ever experienced an earthquake? What are the possible things that you will do during an earthquake? Put a check mark for the possible things that you can do during an earthquake and X if not. Run outside. Drop, cover, and hold. Get cover under a sturdy table. Jump out of the window. Go to an open field. Use the elevator. Cover head with a hard object. Stay away from falling objects. Activity 1. Inside the Earth. The Earth has three layers. The crust, the mantle, and the core. They differ in thickness, temperature, physical state, and composition. The outermost layer where living things exist is the crust. It is made up of basalt and granite rocks. The mantle is the second layer. The properties and physical state of the mantle are not uniform throughout due to the difference in temperature. The upper mantle is stable and mostly solid while the lower mantle is liquid because of extreme heat or very high temperature and pressure. The liquid part of the mantle is hot molten rocks. The third layer is the core, which is divided into two layers, the outer core and the inner core. The outer core is liquid, while the inner core is solid. The crust and the solid upper part of the mantle make up the lithosphere. The liquid part of the mantle and the outer core is the asthenosphere. The lithosphere floats in the asthenosphere. According to the plate tectonic theory, the Earth's crust is broken into separate pieces called tectonic plates. These plates move relative to each other at a rate of 5 to 10 centimeters per year, and interact along their boundaries, where they converge, diverge or slip past one another. Plate boundaries are the sites of many processes that shape the surface of the Earth, including earthquakes. The three types of tectonic boundaries are convergent, divergent, and transform plate boundary. A convergent boundary occurs when two plates move towards each other. A divergent boundary happens when two plates move away from each other. Earthquakes are common along divergent boundaries. Two plates sliding past each other forms transform plate boundary. Heat and pressure in the asthenosphere cause the movement of molten rocks. The movement is referred to as convection currents. 
the movement of molten material breaks the rocks in faults or cracks in the crust and cause seismic waves. Seismic waves are waves that travel through the Earth's layers and give out low-frequency energy. They are recorded using a seismograph. When rocks break in a fault or crack in the crust, an earthquake occurs. The point of origin of an earthquake underground is the focus. The point directly above the focus on the surface of the Earth is the epicenter. It is in the epicenter that an earthquake is felt the strongest. Choose the correct answer. Which layers of the Earth make up the lithosphere? A. Mantle and outer core. B. Mantle and inner core. C. Crust and upper mantle. D. Outer core and inner core. Which is made up of the liquid part of the mantle and the outer core? A. Outer core. B. Inner core. C. Lithosphere. D. Asthenosphere. Which materials make up the liquid part of the mantle? A. Liquid gases. B. Molten rocks. C. Molten plastics. D. Liquid iron and nickel. Why are rocks in the lower mantle molten? A. Because of gravity. B. Because of too much air. C. Because of high temperature. D. Because water is mixed with it. Which causes the sudden breaking of rocks in faults or cracks in the crust? A. Very heavy rains. B. Strong thunderstorm. C. Overpopulation in an area. D. Movement of molten rocks. Which natural phenomenon occurs when rocks break in faults or cracks in the crust due to movement of molten material? A. Tornado B. Landslide C. Earthquake D. Volcanic eruption Activity 2. Ground shaking Earthquakes happen along faults or cracks when rocks underground break and change in position. The movement of the breaking rocks underground release large amount of energy that cause seismic waves or vibration of the ground. The plates move relative to each other and interact along their boundaries, where they converge, diverge or slip past one another. An earthquake originates from a point underneath the ground called the focus. Exactly above the focus is the epicenter. An earthquake is strongly felt in the epicenter. Answer the following questions. Where do earthquakes originate? A. Focus B. Near rivers C. Near volcanoes What does the underground crack in this figure represents? A. Fault B. Epicenter C. Seismic wave What causes seismic waves? A. Overpopulation B. Typhoon in our country C. Movement of rocks underground Oi. 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 
How does an earthquake occur? A. When magma comes out of a volcano and causes a volcanic eruption. B. When there is flooding in the area that can destroy lives and properties. C. When rocks underground move causing them to break and release large amount of energy. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is the vibration or shaking of the Earth's crust caused by the sudden movement of plates that release a large amount of energy. How does an earthquake occur? An earthquake occurs when rock masses move and change in position. As the rock masses change position, the energy stored in the rock masses is released and transmitted onto the surface in the form of seismic waves. The Earth's crust is broken into separate pieces called tectonic plates. These plates move relative to each other and interact along their boundaries in different plate movements. Earthquakes usually occur along these boundaries. What are the types of earthquake? If an earthquake is due to sudden movement of the rocks, or when two tectonic plates collide against each other, it is called a tectonic earthquake. If it is due to the movement of magma within the volcanoes, it is called a volcanic earthquake. Sometimes earthquakes also occur because of human activity. Big explosions and the wrong treatment of the ground may trigger man-made earthquakes. Where do earthquakes usually occur? Earthquakes generally occur along faults. Faults are cracks in the Earth's crust between two big plates. When two plates slip past against each other, it releases a big amount of energy that causes the ground to shake. Usually, a ground rupture will be created. The point of origin of an earthquake beneath the surface of the Earth is called a focus. The earthquake waves travel from the focus going outward. The epicenter is the point above the focus on the surface of the Earth. It is at this point where earthquake energy is felt the strongest. What agency of the government monitors earthquakes? In our country, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology (FIVOLCS) is the agency of the government that monitors earthquakes. The principal mandate of FIVOLCS is to mitigate disasters that may arise from volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunami and other related geotectonic phenomena. How do we measure the strength of an earthquake? The strength and damage caused by an earthquake is measured by magnitude or intensity. Magnitude is recorded by a seismograph in FIVOLX station and interpreted using the FIVOLX scale. Magnitude is associated with the energy released by an earthquake which is a way to tell its strength. Intensity measures the extent of damage caused by an earthquake on the surface of the ground. It is identified through ocular inspection of the area or the epicenter. Complete the following statements. I learned that. The shaking or vibration of the crust of the earth is known as blank. An earthquake due to sudden movement of the rocks or when two tectonic plates collide is known as blank earthquake. An earthquake due to the movement of magma within the volcanoes is called a blank earthquake. An earthquake due to human activity is known as blank earthquake. The point of origin of an earthquake underground is the blank.
The point directly above the focus on the surface of the Earth is the blank. Answer the following questions. What is the point of origin of an earthquake below the surface of the Earth? A. Fault B. Focus C. Crack D. Epicenter Which phenomenon is caused by a sudden movement or vibration of the Earth's crust that causes changes on its surface? A. Tsunami B. Tidal wave C. Earthquake D. Storm surge Which type of earthquake is caused by a sudden movement of rocks or the movement of tectonic plates? A. Tectonic earthquake B. Volcanic earthquake C. Artificial earthquake D. Man-made earthquake Where do earthquakes originate? A. Focus B. Epicenter C. Mountains D. Seismic waves Why do earthquakes occur? A. Because of heavy rain in the area B. Because of landslide down the slope C. Because of overpopulation in the community D. Because of the sudden movement of the plates What is the exact point above the point of origin where an earthquake is felt the strongest? A. Focus B. Crater C. Fissure D. Epicenter Which type of earthquake occurs due to the movement of tectonic plates? A. Volcanic earthquake B. Tectonic earthquake C. Artificial earthquake D. Man-made earthquake Which government agency monitors earthquake activities? A. DAR B. DENR C. Pegasa D. Fivalx. Which of the following gives rise to volcanic earthquakes? A. Tectonic plates B. Landslide rolling C. Movement of magma D. Water rushing from springs How do man-made earthquakes occur? A. Due to human activities such as mining or using explosives B. Due to volcanic activity and movement of magma C. Due to movement of tectonic plates D. Due to overpopulation in a place Bye. Bye. Bye.